Whether you're building an engine for your Dodge Caravan or your race car, doing it yourself isn't impossible. It really just takes some patience, the correct specs, and some tools of course. The most important thing to remember when disassembling your engine is to keep the parts and hardware organized. Using labeled Ziploc bags and boxes are an easy method to use. When our block went to the machine shop, it received a bore and hone to the piston manufacturer's specs. Modern engines are honed with a 400 or 600 grit stone and finished with a plateau brush, which knocks down any sharp edges or high spots. Remember, when you deliver your parts to the machine shop, only leave what they need. There's no need to make the machine shop responsible for your hardware or external parts. When we got our GSR block back, it had received the basic steps for a rebuild. Boring, honing, resurfacing, and hot tanking. However, it still needed a few finishing touches. We're gonna deburr the block today. Basically, it's detailing all these fine burrs. Uh, it'll help in the oil transfer, and it'll get rid of some of the hot spots in the block. Deburring the block removes stress risers that give cracks a starting place. A lot of times, this process isn't needed for street motors, but we went ahead and did it anyway. Safety glasses. And any porting tool will work. For this, you will need a porting bit and a die grinder. So we're gonna get rid of all these little burrs, basically all the casting marks. See them all over the place. Just wanna smooth them out. A few things to remember before getting started. Use an engine stand when handling the block. Don't set the block deck on itself after machining, unless on a soft padded surface. Make sure you organize and label your parts and hardware. During the process, be sure to tape up the bearing journals and oil squirters. Tape them up and then you don't want any, any metal shavings going in there. So just tape up all the oil holes, the oil squirter holes and all that. Just make it easier when you, when you go and clean the block. All the cutting or grinding should be done at a medium grinder speed. Too high of RPMs will cause you to remove more material than needed. It's basically the finish you want, nice and smooth, and if it's kind of hard to get it right in the, in the corner, so it's fine if we leave all those little burrs in there. When you're done, follow up with a 120 grit sanding bit. Although our block is fresh from the machine shop, a finishing hone is very useful in making sure the rings seat correctly. Right now it basically came back from the machine shop, it still has that rough finish. Just go in there with this and then give it that final touch. Apply honing oil before starting the process. Honing is done to all the cylinders. So what are the benefits of, uh, of smoothing out the cylinder walls like this? If you have it too rough, your rings will wear out and they won't seat properly. So if you have that smooth finish that Honda recommends, then those, those uh, seat in properly. Oh, okay. You won't get them glazed over or anything. Okay. When you're finished, be sure to clean the block with a good rinse then blow it clean with some compressed air. Luckily, we had a parts washer on hand. 